Facebook was not originally created to be a company. It was built to accomplish a social mission, to make the world more open and connected. I think a simple rule of business is, if you do the things that are easier first, then you can actually make a lot of progress. Give everyone, the power to share anything with anyone. In terms of doing work, and in terms of learning, and evolving as a person, you just grow more, when you get more people's perspectives. I really try and live the mission, of the company and, keep everything else in my life extremely simple. Nothing influences people more than, a recommendation from a trusted friend. By giving people the power to share, we're making the world more transparent. All of my friends who have younger, siblings who are going to college or high school, my number one piece of advice is, you should learn how to program. Instead of building walls, we can help build bridges. Move fast and break things. Unless you are breaking stuff, you are not moving fast enough. The biggest risk is not taking any risk. In a world that changing really quickly, the only strategy that is guaranteed to fail is not taking risks. The question I ask myself like almost every day is, am I doing the most important thing I could be doing? Find that thing, you are super passionate about. So many businesses get worried, about looking like they might make a mistake, they become afraid to take any risk. Companies are set up so that people judge, each other on failure. Advertising works most effectively, when it's in line, with what people are already trying to do. Simply put, we don't build services to make money, we make money to build better services. Helping a billion people connect is amazing, humbling and by far the thing I am most proud of in my life. Building a mission, and building a business go hand in hand. We don't build services to make money, we make money to build better services. People think innovation, is just having a good idea but a lot of it is just moving quickly and trying a lot of things. I'm here to build something for the long term, anything else is a distraction. In a world that's changing really quickly, the only strategy that is guaranteed, to fail is not taking risks. This is a perverse thing, personally, but I would rather be in the cycle, where people are underestimating us. It gives us latitude to go out, and make big bets that excite, and amaze people. If you just work on stuff that you like, and you're passionate about, you don't have to have a master plan, with how things will play out. I started the site when I was 19. I didn't know much about business back then. I think that people, just have this core desire to express who they are. And I think that's always existed. 
People don't care about what you say, they care about what you build. My goal was never to just create a company. A lot of people misinterpret that, as if I don't care about revenue, or profit or any of those things. But what not being, just a company means to me, is building something that actually, makes a really big change in the world. I literally coded Facebook in my dorm room, and launched it from my dorm room. I rented a server for $85 a month, and I funded it by putting an ad on the site, and we've funded ever since by putting ads on the site. The question isn't, what do we want to know about people? It's, what do people want to tell about themselves? One of things that I do focus on at Facebook, is making sure the culture is very friendly, and that people hang out. So instead of having 20% of people's time working on projects, I make people hang out with each other. I made so many mistakes in running the company so far, Basically any mistake you can think of I probably made. I think, if anything, the Facebook story is a great example, of how if you're building a product that people love you, can make a lot of mistakes. When you give everyone a voice, and give people power, the system usually ends up in a really good place. So, what we view our role as, is giving people that power. Once you have a product that you are happy with, you the need to centralize things to continue growth. You get a reputation, for stability if you are stable for years. I don't have an alarm clock. If someone needs to wake me up, then I have my Blackberry next to me. If you're always under the pressure of real identity, I think that is somewhat of a burden. The thing I really care about is the mission, making the world open. 